104.5 XLO, New England's best variety, Jenna Frank. Jen is off today. We are live in the Clinton Savings Bank studio. We're joined by Tom Myers from Wachusett Mountain. Tom, I was just saying, it's so nice to hear your voice. Yeah, we miss you guys, Frank. You know, it's been a little quiet up here. I would imagine it has. It's been a little quiet everywhere, Tom. But I know that you reached out to us, and you've got things coming up in the fall, which is kind of encouraging to all of us. What's on your schedule so far? Well, we've had to make a few adjustments, but we are optimistically planning ahead for all the fall festivals. Actually, they're going to kick off in August with our summer food truck festival on August 8th. And then we're going to have one more festival the end of August with our beer festival. And then come Labor Day, we roll into our full schedule almost every weekend. So you know, we really have uh, are trying to maintain uh, a, a, a real optimistic outlook and uh, assuming all the festivals can proceed at some level. You know, we're, we're following closely the governor's reopening guidelines and working with with. Uh, local uh, and state health officials so we can really, you know, have an event that uh, that everybody, you know, comes to know what you should pour in the fall. Now, you've obviously got a lot of room up there, so you probably don't face the same challenges that a lot of people do. Uh, with all that outside area, is that the reason you're pretty much optimistic you'll be able to pull this off? Yeah, we're really trying to uh, look at the layout of each event and trying to, you know, have activities and, and attractions that you know, can still work comfortably within social distancing guidelines. And, you know, we're going to certainly encourage uh, people to purchase their tickets in advance so we can monitor the number of people that will be there. So we're really going to be trying to cater the event around, you know, all the procedures and protocols that are going to now be in place. Well, I tell you what, people are so desperate for any kind of entertainment or to get outside. This will be music to a lot of people's ears, Tom. Yeah, you know, we're, we're thinking the same thing. We certainly want to provide the same, you know, level of events that we've had in the past. They may have to be scaled down to a certain extent, but, you know, starting right in with Labor Day uh, weekend and then moving into mid-September, we're actually going to have a new festival we're creating uh, called the Around the World Fest. It'll be a kind of a cultural international festival for one day on September 12th. Then we roll into our more traditional events, Barbecue Fest coming up September 19th, 20, and our annual Kid Fest, which XLO is always a big partner for that, September 26th and 27th. And then we get into October, where by then hopefully things will really have started to calm down. Uh, October Fest, Columbus Day event, Apple Fest, and then even our Fall Food Truck Festival coming up in early November. Well, all I've heard pretty much stick in my mind right now is barbecue, beer, food trucks, and fun. <laughs> right, right <laughs> a lot right of people up, need right, that combination. Right up your alley. Sir. You got it. Well, Tom, I can't wait to see you again, and thanks for taking a few minutes with us, and let's cross our fingers. Everything goes off as planned. Just tell people to uh, stay tuned to the website for any latest stuff. You got it, buddy, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.